Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, nail artist and educator here. And finally, I find the time to rebalance my nails again. Uh, they turn it out pretty as usual. <laughs> you can have a wee preview of it in here. Yeah, I love and enjoy doing uh, my nails and I try to always come up with some different ideas for you to learn as well. I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you do, let me know down below in the comments as I'm really looking forward to reading them all. Let's start! <laughs> I have done two nails already and uh, it's strange because normally it isn't a kind of design which I would wear so I was really kind of scared but then I thought okay it's fine I've got one hand which is totally different and the other hand which is different I'm not going to wear them for a long time but I will have a nice tutorial for you guys but I think I actually really like them and they don't bother me even with the colors uh, I still like it because it's a kind of nude range, so that's kind of my colors. And I will show you how to do this uh, set of the nails. I actually really like them, like surprised so much uh, because it's not something I would thought I would suit. So uh, just because I have slipped with those nails, I have done them yesterday, I'm going to clean it with the blue scrub. And then the next step, which we are going to do is use the high shine no wipe top gel. So I'm just going to put a little bit of it on my mixing palette. And then using the D-liner brush, we are going to do the design. So my brush is ready. And the first part of the design that is going to be this kind of wave. And I want this nail to be opposite of this one. So I'm going to paint, like make sure you have no blob of the color, uh, of, the, of the gel top coat. So nice wave. This is something which might be not visible in a camera because obviously I'm just painting with the top coat. But what I'm doing is I'm just creating a wee wave in here. Okay. Then this one is going to be the same like a pinky. So just a wee wave. Actually, even more. Let me just wipe it out. So for the medium finger where we're going to paint the roses, don't paint it too much. But then for the other ones, I want a bit more. That's much nicer. Okay, so just a wavy parts and then same wavy parts in here. And this set got, got uh, inspired me by the last two things I have done it, which was Morgan set with the animal print and also the wavy. So it's a both kind of designs which are really fashion at the moment. Now I'm going to cure my top coat for 30 seconds. Um, depending on the lamp you use it, sometimes I will cure it 30, sometimes I will cure it 60 seconds. So best do like a test uh, and check what curing time is best for you. Now, here is a gold chrome and you have guys seen me, there was a really beautiful set of the um, gold and white nails. So I have mixed those gold, uh, gold chrome with a silver chrome to achieve the perfect shade which suit, um, which, which I like. And I'm going to wrap this pigment in there. And this way we are getting those beautiful gold, pale gold line. I don't like those yellow tones. Uh, so if you've got chrome, which you don't like because it's too yellow, just add a drop of the silver into it and that will give you those really beautiful um, light um, pale gold look. Now I'm just going to clean my fingers because what I like to do is like I don't want those bits and pieces in there and I want the chrome to be really nice and shiny. And by rubbing it with your finger, it really gets those shine, shine like coming up even more. 
Okay, so look at this, guys, like it's much nicer shine. Then using the dust brush, and they are really nice and soft. We've got them actually on the website as well. Um, they're awesome for removing the um, extra pigments from the nails without of damaging your forms. Uh, that's why I love them so much. They're perfect also for the mermaid effect. Okay, so my next step is to... So once we have painted that, the next step is to do a white part. Remember, when we're painting uh, with the chromes, you need to have a matte nail. So if you want to have a base color, obviously I didn't put base color, it's just a sculpting gel. And I have used light rose. There is tutorial on how I have infilled those nails um, on the channel as well. Plus there is lots of tutorials like on the fresh set of the nails. So for the next part, we are going to use the paint on French gel. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of it on my mixing palette. Clean my brush because if you've got too much product on the brush, um, the brush doesn't behave nice. And now we are going to paint it. So just follow those wavy line. I'm really concentrating on those line first. I'm not bothered about filling it up yet. Because for filling it up, I can use a bigger brush. Actually, not this one. This one will be perfect. So that's the watercolor brush. To be honest, it looks really nice even just like this as a design. Like, I mean, you could guys have another idea uh, of the nice design, just a gold line. And I actually got it. I didn't do something like this on this hand <laughs> now. <laughs> so much prettier. I will try with this brush. No, I wouldn't reach the corners. Yeah, really uh, beautiful, even on its own. I don't know why I didn't pay attention to it uh, when I was doing the two nails. So just D-liner brush to reach those corners. And then touch up. Actually, swapping the brushes is much uh, quicker because the smaller brush, the longer it takes, it is brilliant for a detail at work. Yeah, this looks actually super cool. Absolutely stunning. Like, oh my goodness, I love that. I really love that. Oh, I need to change this hand, like, definitely. What do you think about it? Which one actually you like better? The leopard print or the French? <laughs> French is so nice. Oh my goodness. So stunning. Okay, guys, another idea for you. Like, oh wow, this is so. Oh, I'm so gutted now. Honestly, I need to. Obviously, I'm not going to record tutorial on those kind of design. Ah, oh, I'm really gutted. It's so pretty. And this is how the ideas are coming up. Um, you guys ask me very uh, often, like, where I get the ideas from. So sometimes you do one thing and then you realize, like, oh, that actually looks so nice. I want to try it. Oh, sorry, my hands are shaky. I want to try it to, to do it on the client. I mean, obviously, then I would paint um, much nicer with the white. Here, I'm not bothered too much because we are going to cover it with the design.
That's better. Have my hand stabilized. <laughs> Okay, touch up on the sides. And then once I'm happy with it, I'm going to cure it. That's so pretty. Oh, I am really gutted right now. <laughs> Let me know uh, below in the comments below, like what you think about which actually design you prefer, because uh, some of you will probably like those annual prints and some of you will like the French. I'm actually quite interested uh, to see it. I mean, I like them both, but wow, this French looks so pretty. Okay, so let's damage this French now. <laughs> And we are going to use the sponge. So I like to put the sponge on a tiny piece of uh, foil, uh, form, uh, just to clean the flaps. And then we are going to use 187, which is light latte. I think again, it's a perfect color for an autumn time and it's a must have uh, for every nail tech. Uh, and what I'm going to do is dip in those into this color on my sponge and then pick up a drop of the foil design gel actually a bigger drop because we need it for later as well. And I want those uh, Lippard print to be a bit more realistic like uh, so a drop of those black on my sponge and those latte mixed together and now on the end we are going to go like darker. So the sponge is creating a nice pattern actually you can guys see it Okay, again, pick it up. I want some parts to be white as well, so do not overdo it. Okay, so just a couple of the... I hope, yeah, you can see it. So it's kind of like a messy look we want to apply in there. Okay, flash cure it. If you want, you can do a second layer and that's give even nicer results. And I might actually do that as well. In the meantime, for the rules, I'm going to prepare the colors I need. So it will be 158. I thought those two colors go together. So I'm just picking up a small scoop of this color. And you can see it on the mixing palette, the 158 rose and the light latte that stay really nice nice together okay i'm going to do a round two okay just a wee messy look Flash cure it a couple of seconds and then we can move on into the next part. So I'm just going to clean the product off from my brush. Let me get rid of that, we don't need it anymore. I don't like to have too much stuff on my desk when I'm working like then it's just more difficult to find the things. So the next thing is to pick up the latte color and put it in a spots. Okay, so couple spots. The, the more shaky your hand is, actually the better results you will get. So I think this is a design which you will be able to do it even with your left hand. <laughs> okay, and then give it a flash cure. Because I'm just flash curing, there will be lots of flash curing. Uh, I'm just going to give it like for five seconds cure and then move on into the next part of the design just to make the life easier and shorter. <laughs> so I need to cure this uh, spots more. So the next part I'm going to do is I will start painting those rows. 
And what I want to do is I'm mixing those wee latte color with the drop of the black, like the tiniest drop ever. So tiny drop and then those three colors together. And we are going to paint the middle here. Okay, so it's just like a dot here, a dot, shaky dot, shaky dot. Even drop more of those black. Just so it's darker inside. Okay, latte, so next layer. And really what you're painting is like a messy cycle, <laughs> messy round shape. Then those, I didn't clean my brush and now I'm picking up those rolls. Okay, going over the latter, like really messy. And then this one I want bigger. Okay, so that's the background for our rose. And you can see it, guys, it is really messy. Then flash cure it again. So this time, because I have painted a slightly bigger uh, parts, um, on my nails with the gel polish. I'm going to cook it slightly longer, so about 15 seconds cure. And then we can start doing the cheetah print, the part print on the other nails because they will be just uh, cured enough. Okay. So leave the rose alone and let's do the animal print. So again, nice and shaky hand. Don't be regular with it. Like you want to be really unregular. Like basically paint it quick and messy. Okay, so just a couple. I like to do it one, two, three. That's really gives a nice animal print as well. One, two, three. And some of them are just empty dots. So it doesn't look wow yet. That's kind of basic you would do it, uh, really basic. But we want to give it a little bit dimension to it and I will show you what would be our next step? You can see it like most of my brush is clean, so I have not much product. I'm only picking up the product at the tip of my brush. So when doing the thumb, I'm in such a comfy position that I cannot control my hand. And you can guys see it, like how it's shaking. <laughs> Actually pretty nice for this design. Okay, so we have done those basic um, animal print, but I wanted it to be nice. So I'm cleaning my brush, like there is no paint at all on it. And we are going to smudge it a little bit. Okay, so first one side. So I have no product on my brush at all. And what I'm doing is I'm using the product which is already there to get those furry look. 
sometimes you can even clean your brush again. If you start feeling it's making too big lines, just clean your brush again. Okay, next one. And next one. So just a very, very small, tiny touches of the brush. Okay, then turn your hand the other way and do it the other direction. But get them like, so I was going uh, with the lines this way, so the next line is going this way. Don't go like uh, crossing each other, like you don't want them to cross. And I think that gives a really nice um, animal print. Okay, next one. So this one, I need to go this way. Oh gosh. <laughs> Okay, and then this one. <laughs> and then cure it. So by this time the rose is starting getting ready and we are going to use the paint on French gel to add the detail into it. So let me cure it a couple seconds. I think I need to change this hand into the white French. <laughs> um, so you will have guys more tutorial. Oh, no, I need to think something different. Okay, I'm picking up a tiny bit of the French gel. Let me clean the brush. This one actually is already cured. <laughs> and I'm painting middle of the rose. Okay, middle of the rows. So basically the more messy you do the background, the more colors you are going to have and the nicer it is gonna look. I really like painting those type of roses because they, they look really nice, but they are not too hard to do it. Now with the brush, I'm just clean brush and I'm just going to smudge that a little bit. Okay, pick up another, touch it stronger and then give it a little wave. Same, stronger touch, wave. Okay, and those lines look very flat, so I'm cleaning my brush and with the clean brush I'm smudging it. Okay, so nice smudges. Again, clean the product off. Those such a small details um, Gives a little bit more dimension to our flower. Okay, keep smudging it.
you can see it guys I'm keep cleaning my brush okay flash cured it again pick up a small amount of the product and paint another petal clean the brush and smudge it Don't worry even if you get rid of the white because uh, we are going to do white after we put the top coat as well to get even nicer results. So basically I'm painting the petals with the, with the white. They, they didn't exist in there. I'm just creating them with the white. Okay, one more. And then flash cure it. And then we are going to do the next, the last round of them. So again, very small amount of the product. And then triangle. And you could see it on the top, I had even no color, like uh, but I have just squeezed it another petal. So we can create our own petals. Okay, clean the brush and smudge them. They, you want them very smudgy. Okay, so after I have created this part, I'm going to mix my uh, pink with black. And I'm straight away going to paint a couple leaves. Not too many, you want just a couple. And then give it a flash cure. Of course, we have to add some blink into it. In the meantime, guys, you can hit the share button 
or also if you're new here don't forget to subscribe there's lots of tutorials and do really please go and check the previous videos like i mean we've got like about 500 videos right now on the on the channel already uh, so you need to check them out now with the black i'm just adding more detail in here on the leaf Yeah, so we outlines. Okay, so now is the time to apply crystals. So I'm going to flash cure it and grab some crystals and the caviar bits. Okay, that's it. Flash cured. Then hide my brushes so the sunshine don't get it. And then a base gel, base gel. So I'm using a voted base gel on my mixing palette open up those caviar beads and the crystals i don't want to overdo it because uh, i mean it is really rich design anyway so just a little bit of the base gel here and then one of those large crystals I mean large, the medium size bar. And then smaller ones. So for base application, I'm using like an old brush. Place them where you want them. And then give it a flash cure. Okay, quickly the same on the thumb. Pick up the crystals. So on the thumb I might actually put a couple more. Just on the top, so three larger ones. I don't like actually when there is too many crystals in a pot <laughs> because they are much harder to take off. But I love to store them like in those pots because then they safe, like, you know. Um, we've got those boxes also as well and they're really nice like and uh, thicker ones. Uh, so I store my old crystals like and then I can have them segregated into the color. And that's the way how I store my glitters as well. So I'll have one box of the actually 10 boxes of the pink glitter, uh, you know, 20 boxes of the silver glitter. And each time when I get uh, some new um, new stuff, I, I like to segregate into the colors and put them into those boxes. And then I've got a wee shelf uh, when I store them. Uh, so it's a wee tip guys for you as well, like how to store your glitters or crystals. Okay, the next part is to do caviar beads one two three four so rose gold Oh, come on, I need one, just one. There we are. Okay, so, and then on the sides, three. And one more. Flash cure it. Okay, pick up another drop of the base. And 
And I know sometimes they are hardly even visible, those caviar beads, but I think they're just finishing off the design. Like, my clients love it, and they're always like, oh my goodness, they're so tiny, they're so pretty, like, that's just finish off the design. And it really does, like, all those little detail. Flash cure it. So normally I would work on two hands. Now, on the places where we've got leaves, I'm just placing a couple of those uh, caviar beads. So just a few. Don't want too many of them, just really couple. And then give it a flash cure. Next step is the top coat and then the final detail with the paint on French on top of it to get like a dimension on the rose. So I'm just going to apply the top coat over all of them. Top coat on the caviar beads as well. I don't put the top coat on top of the gems, but I always put the top coat on top of the caviar beads. Just peeling my nail folds down. I got glitter there. Go away. Okay, cure it. And this time we are going to cure it only half of the time. So normally I cure the top coat for 60 seconds, but um, I'm going to cure it only for 30 seconds because we want to do those uh, paint on French detail as well. So, Okay, flashed cured, then the brush, which was hiding there, and paint on French gel, which probably cured. Oh, it's not too bad. And now, hardly any product on top, and we are just going to add tiniest detail. So, tiny bit of detail. And you can see it, guys, this has different tone to it and gives it dimension to our rose. Because the previous French was smudged and this one is nice and sharp. And you don't have to apply the top coat over the paint on French gel. So that's kind of gives 3D look to it. And I love it. If you feel you miss something, you can even add it in. So just a wee tiny details. Look how much is changing the look of it. One more here. It's really giving those dimension. And one more. Okay, so that's the rose finished. I'm going to cure it. So we do not apply the top coat over it. We want to have those 3D look. And I'm going to cure it uh, 
another 30 seconds, even one minute, like 60 seconds will be ideal because uh, you're obviously having a product with no top coat over it. So normally I would cure it 60 seconds for you guys. I'm just going to speed up and cure it a couple seconds. <laughs> so I can show you the final look. Okay, two, one, go. So I'm just using the UV cleanser. The paint on French has inhibition layer and it doesn't. Like, you know, it's just very little inhibition layer. So I'm just removing it because I don't want to have a product, um, overexposure to the product. And this is actually, it's a Sunday today, and this is uh, going to be a subject of our live video as well. Uh, so if you missed it, you can go back and, and check that out as well. So I'm just applying cuticle oil. Obviously I will wash my hands after all this dust and products as well. And that's the set which we have uh, created today. I hope guys you have really enjoyed it and you have learned something. Look at this. I actually like it. I thought I'm not going to suit it, but I do. Oh, that's even nicer view. Let me show you one more. Uh, yeah, sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now.